Most people in America expect that when they're borrowing a Wi-Fi that there's no one in a store who is violating federal law interfering with their rights to be online. I'm literally watching a video that I've been asked and requested to watch on behalf of my potential employer to give some feedback. And the truth is, people don't get it. People ask you to watch all kinds of things to give feedback for certain reasons that have everything to do with the industry and nothing to do with the content. So let's be clear. When a man is using pre-Wi-Fi, it's not your employee's job to monitor. If the corporate office is monitoring way away from here, that's one thing. But if it's a little local shit who's 20 years old or 30 years old who is jealous and has nothing else to do with his time, that's a problem. I'm literally watching and somebody is shutting off my Wi-Fi in my computer. I never gave anyone the right to do this. We're going to talk more about safety in America, but we're going to talk a lot about the safety and sanctity of technology in America. You see, under a version of the Declaration of Human Rights that I saw, it said that we had the right to technology, and we have the right to public access, and we have the right to information. And our current presidency is talking about how people have the right to affordable Wi-Fi. Well, free Wi-Fi is affordable. Free internet is affordable. Especially to someone like me who's putting his life back together and literally is living in homelessness thanks to identity theft, cybercrime, and fraud on my life. Conducted mainly by elder siblings, but, you know, we think that they thought they were getting away with hazing. They're not. But here's the reality. Law enforcement officers do this shit too, and it's not right for them to do that. They have no rights in our privacy rights. They have no rights in our medical rights. They have no rights in our safety rights. They have no rights in our property rights. And yet, sheriff confiscates shit all day long without ever telling the person they're stealing from. Isn't that interesting? That they just feel like they can walk into your storage and take any fucking thing they want to. I even had a sheriff take, or a policeman in Fishers take one of my faith fobs off me. Never got it back. It was a Holy Ghost faith fob on a chain, and he refused to give it back. He also didn't allow me to put it in my storage. So, motherfucker, you owe me 10 grand for that situation. 